Hey, hey, hey. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. Now go on and get to clapping. Now pop it for a player. Pop, pop it for me. What? Turn around and drop it for a player. Pop, pop it for me. And what? What's up? What's up? What's up? Your girl is back. This is Thanksgiving 2020. Cooking in the basement. Here we go. What is going on? Y'all know what? Anybody know of a good gel? Just put it in the comments. Something to keep my hair from sticking out right here by my ear. That blows me. Alright, so for anybody who was with me for the other video. You know that I already started my livers and they're good. And I did the green bean casserole, which I'm gonna use this bowl to mix up the dressing. Let's go, because I'm actually going to use cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, and Cream of onion and cream of celery. Ah! Let's go. So normally, you know when I do my dressing, normally I use cornbread that I make. I don't use bread crumbs or any of that. I make my own cornbread and then I put it back together as dressing. However, this year, because your girl is in the basement cooking have access and I don't have the ability like I did before so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to cheat a little bit my mom this is cornbread cubed stuffing this is Arnold's but you can use anybody's you want because you're not gonna just leave it like this you're not just gonna pour a little stock in there and and and, and let it go if you do like your girl do, you got to mix it up. So, here's the jam. We're going to mix all this together. My vegetables, my soups, my dress, my um, livers. And I'm going to use a little bit of water in this because I'm going to use my better than bouillon and the pan drippings from the... So what I'm gonna do first, guys, is I'm gonna take my livers out of this pan. They're done, and I'm gonna kind of mush them up, chop them up with the knife in the bowl, so they can go in there. So I'm gonna do. So when you down, when you're cooking differently you got to figure out a way to do stuff so this is amazing flavor you should smell this you should smell this situation that i got going on down here so i took that out now anybody knows so i thought she gotten some I thought she got some broth for me. Could have sworn we got some. And you know what? Probably gonna find the broth later. Hey, can I get a few water bottles, please? Sorry for crossing in front of the thing. So, could have sworn. And you know we're gonna find the broth later. Because I could have sworn she picked it up. But she cooked, I mean, she went shopping a little while ago, so. And because I can't get in there and see, I'm gonna make my own broth. Play with your girl if you want to. So I have another one of these, but this is really all I need because this is super salty and you don't wanna use a lot of it because a little bit goes a long way. But better than bouillon is great. It is awesome. You should try it, especially if you are not, especially if you cook but you're not like chefy. But you want that little flavor. 
So, so first I'm gonna do that because I need the broth. Because what happens is, is when you use breadcrumbs, y'all, use breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs soak up every bit of juice that you give to them. And you don't want your, well, I guess depending on where you're from, you don't want your dressing, stuffing, whatever, your side. You don't want it to be dry. So I put a lot of moisture in there. So as it cooks, so as it cooks, it doesn't cook all the way out. So that when you do get it, you get a scoop of this luscious dressing as opposed to a, 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 cr a dry crumble. And plus, I'm gonna make some gravy because, yeah, it's Thanksgiving. Gotta have gravy. So, there's that. All right, so we got that going in there. I didn't turn this all the way off. And I don't necessarily need it to be thick, even though it cooked down from when I had the livers in there, I don't necessarily need to be thick. So I'm gonna let that do a little cooking on the side. And I also, I'm gonna use this as my broth, but I'm gonna let it cook a little bit. Right. Still got a good flavor. Still gonna probably have some more to do. All right. So look guys, it's just bread crumb. Well, that's a, that one didn't get quite crumbly. <laughs> so they're already in cubes. That's just a big piece that was sitting on top, so that's why I'm writing that up. It's already in cubes. Ugh. Here we go. Like I said, normally a girl has, you know, I cook my I make my own cornbread. I put all my seasoning and everything in the cornbread. My my sage and whatever season I'm going to use. I put all that in the cornbread. But since we're doing it a little different, we're going to do it a little different. Alright. So. That's that. Now, let's get this on. Let's get that going. While that's doing, I'm going to just open the cans up. So, here I have creamy chicken. You can see it. Cream of mushroom, cream of celery, and cream of onion. Here's the thing. When you're cooking something that's like dressing, something or something creamy, anything like that, cream soups are slept on a lot but if you're cooking let's say let's say you cook a chicken alfredo and you got some sauce but not a lot but you want more sauce add a cream to it you got a cream chicken soup can of soup there mix it up there with it you don't want that you got a cream of onion do that you got some chicken breast and a can of cream of mushroom soup. You got dinner. Put the chicken breast, cover it up with the cream of mushroom soup, put it in the oven, make some rice, boom, pow, bang. What's the noodles? Just pimp on the You sleep on the cream soups. We only don't sleep on the cream soups during the holidays. But you can use cream soups all year long for just about it. She's trying. They got cream of bacon. Y'all know how I feel about that. Even if you're heart healthy, check them because a lot of the cream soups have heart healthy. So, working on your diet, they got fat free, they got low fat, they got everything. But it's a good base to make a sauce, to make a creamy noodle dish, cream rice dish, it's a good base. So now it is the base for my dressing. My mom 
didn't use cream soups. She didn't use cream soup. She um she just used uh she would cook a chicken, cook some chicken. Actually normally chicken legs or something. And she would use that. Alright, so this is my roasted garlic. Put a little bit of that in there too. Yeah, I'm gonna let that cook for a sec. I'm gonna put these other soups in here. And I mean, it is really now, guys, it is just about mixing it up. I mean, even though I'm trying to keep this as regular Thanksgiving as possible, it's just a little different. Matter of fact, it's different for everybody. Baby, um, it's different for everybody. It's 2020. It's the year to murder hornets and, 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 and masks. So it's different for everybody. And everybody's got a new normal. Everybody's got a, a new way of doing things, a different way of doing things. This just happens to be mine. And this is, and it's, for some people, this is their whole situation. Don't feel like you can't contribute or do what you want to do. A lot of people, even me sometimes, I just get, I just will start crying sometimes. And you think that you can't do. And I'm, I'm really, I'm really kind of sending this out to not people who've been like this all the time, but people like me who for whatever reason have went from being relatively active going to work every day doing what you have to do I wasn't moving super fast no girl had a bad knee but I was doing and going and doing and going to not being able to walk period and to be scared of things you shouldn't be scared of but it's okay if you're all that but you can do some of the stuff and I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, if you just try it, you'll feel better. Now every day, you ain't gotta feel better. That's it, not how that works. Some days, it's it's not all, it's, it's not all Pollyanna and fluffy. And I don't expect it to be. But I can't thank her enough for making a refrigerator. Not a refrigerator. I can't thank her enough for making a kitchen in the basement for me so that I can feel like I can help make Thanksgiving dinner. All right, so that's good. That's cool. Do that. Now my bowl is not super big. So hopefully nothing will shoot out of the side. But I'm going to pour in I'll cut that off I don't need it right in. and I'm gonna pour in my stuff that I made with the chicken livers and and see all that liquid is gone and I poured that in first because the soups are not as liquidy as the Go to soup, so we're going in. Cream of onion. Come on now. Just a little tip. If you're getting some out of a can like this, you stab the bottom, it'll come straight out. And you don't have to go back in and, and scoop around. The cream of mushroom is a little more loose because it is actually the 98% fat free, which I don't mind. I'm looking for the flavor, not the fat. I got fat everywhere. All right, it's cream and celery. Even though I'm putting celery in there, I always use cream and celery soup. Always, always, always. And last but not least, Alright, so let me get 
keys in the trash. I was watching. Baby, is this gonna do it 16? Come do it. I said 15. I gotta go off. Oh, it says 16.02 and then it go off. So, I'm just stirring it in. I'm just kind of folding it in. I don't want it to fall. Because I'm the one that ended up eating the dressing the most at the end. My size is bigger. I'm just saying. But it is. I didn't mean for it to be bigger. But you can tell the difference. Alright. So that's it. Doesn't get any topping or anything. Just gonna put a little Let me tell you what working at a restaurant made me do. Scrape stuff like we done lost thirty dollars worth of stuff and this little bit of stuff that's left in the thing. That is working a restaurant does for you. When you come out of the restaurant, you wanna scrape everything on a spatula. You have thirteen hundred spatulas. Alright. So let's push this down. Wait. Let it heat all the way through, get a little crust on the top, and that is my dressing made in my secondary kitchen downstairs. So my legs will come get this in a minute. <laughs> all right, guys. So what's left, babe? You gotta do cakes later. Uh. Can't put them in the oven right now. Just put stuff on it. You have mixed up. No. All right. Cakes are not. You cakes. Like I said, cakes are the cakes are the one thing you can't make ahead of time. You make them. You gotta make them when you when you're making them. Um. So that's it. The greens. Yeah. I got meat in the um. I got uh. I think I got smoked. I think I either got a smoked ham hocks, a smoked neck bones, one of them. Put one of them in there. And what? In the greens. The smoke, the, oh, the, the um, neck turkey neck? No, the smoke one in the freezer. It's in, wrapped up in foil. Mm -hmm. Charles should know what it is. You remember I told Charles to get it the other day? Okay. Um, and take one of your, you got a bell pepper left? Yeah. If you take a bell pepper and like cut it in a few slices and just lay it across the top, that bell pepper helps kind of even out that bitterness of the collard greens. Okay. So that's all you gotta do with that. Oh, my bad. Um, we're using can because we couldn't find any fresh. So we're using Glory. But you know I'm not gonna just leave it like that. So she's gonna put like, a, I think I got some smoked, I got smoked neck bones and smoked something else upstairs. But it's in the freezer upstairs in foil. So just take one of those out. She's gonna put it in there. And if you take a bell pepper, not only does it season the, the greens a little bit, it also helps take some of that bitterness out. And it also helps give your green, your canned items a fresh feel. Take some of that, um, I know they came out of a can taste out of them. So you can do that. Um, you can add anything. If you like onions, you gonna eat them, put them in there. Um, it's all about how you feel about it. So with that, with canned stuff, you want to, if you're using canned items as like the main dish, make sure you do something to kind of get rid of that candy taste. And adding fresh vegetables to that can help it out. Bell peppers is always good. I mean, people use carrots as a, as a seasoning. I don't, I mean, that's just not how I was raised, but I've seen it done and it doesn't taste bad. 
if you like carrots slice up a few carrots and put it in there slice up the bell pepper and the carrots that's called a trilogy bell pepper well for us it's bell pepper celery and onions for some people it's bell it's celery carrots and onions so just depends upon how you were raised in your area or yeah you can use them all but you just kind of want to flavor your stuff up you know what i'm saying that's all so the dressing is going in the oven um all i gotta do is mash the that'll be the next one i'm gonna make the sweet potatoes i guess i can do it in this bowl this bowl washed out and all right close it okay guys um one more video and that's gonna be for the sweet potatoes i'm gonna do them a little different this year so we're gonna do them together okay so this is the dressing it's getting ready to go in the oven and that's it we're almost done the ham is in the oven the turkey is done Brittany's making the macaroni and cheese charles did the um the yeah potato salad potato salad <laughs> charles did the potato salad dc is doing the um the dirty rice and corn. and the corn casserole. Nick has been my leg, so that is his job. He ain't gotta cook nothing. He just run them. So getting down to the wire, y'all. Getting close. Get time to eat. Play with it. I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that every time I drop a video or go live, you guys can join us. This is your girl. Back in the kitchen, kind of, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, DC Kool Aid and Lisa doing challenge on your head top. Yeah, you know what's happening when you tune in. Story times, pranks, and vlogging, man. We a great big family, we the bomb squad. We on that grind to a number with a K, best believe you'll stay. You can chill with the fam like most of y'all do. DC Kool Aid, Lisa, and Nick too. With Charles and Barbie living that YouTube life. We love our fans and supporters, we a family dude. So come on down to Bomb Squad Tower. Have a seat watching videos. And nobody likes to hate. Keep it positive and have a nice day. Oh, I forgot. Smash that like button. That like Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. Hey!